Did you know that in cover page 861, Oda drew a bunch of kittens with Nekomamushi? If you look closely, you see that these kittens are actually the Straw Hats. The only issue, who are the extra cats? Who will be joining the Straw Hats as part of their final crew? I noticed a pattern with the cats that nobody else has caught on to yet, and it might have led me to solving the puzzle. Hey all, Golden Boy here, how are you doing? I'm back from my friend's wedding, and I'm ready to go with this new theory that I've been working on for a couple of weeks now. The theory is based off of the cover art here, so shout out to Desnus for doing the art for this video, and for my new logo. It looks sharp, so thanks man. But check his channel out. But to add a little context with this theory, I have always been an 11 crew member believer. That is, I figured Luffy would have 10 crew members plus himself, because of what he said in the first chapter. He wants to look for at least 10 people. And also because we know that the Blackbeard crew have 10 Titanic captains. So just naturally, I always figured that there would be 11 total crew members, one for each of the Blackbeard pirates. However, about a month ago, I was thinking about Luffy and Roger, my two favorite characters. The most common arguments I see for Tama joining the crew is that Luffy put the straw hat on her, he would be carrying out Ace's will to take her to sea, and three, Roger had the apprentices on his ship, being Buggy and Shanks. Honestly, that's a pretty good case for a person to join the crew, pulling three arguments from the story. However, I, like many others, would probably shut down this argument pretty quickly, just by pointing out that Tama's not necessarily capable of being on the crew because she's not that strong. Like, I'm worried about Usopp being strong enough as it is. I don't think a child is going to be strong enough to fight non-fodder characters. How is Tama going to take down somebody like Vasco Shots? But it dawned on me. Just because she's on the crew doesn't mean that she's going to have to fight. Just like with the Roger Pirates, Tama would be an apprentice like Buggy and Shanks. Those two kids didn't go to Laugh Tale. So who says Tama would have to fight a Titanic captain? She's just here to learn. So based on this idea, we don't need an exact one-to-one -one ratio. Realizing that we can have more than 11 crew members kind of opened my eyes to cover our 861. I previously kind of ignored it. I didn't take any stock of it because I figured there were only going to be 11 crew members. And if you could see in the cover art, there's more than 11 cats. You may have seen this before, many readers try to use this as a hint, but it's very difficult art to decipher. I mean, we can get a few, but some of these cats just have little to no defining features. Or that's what I thought, until I studied it closer, and I learned a little trick that nobody really has caught on to yet. So this cat near the front of Neko, just lying down, it's definitely a representation of Zoro, right? That checks out. He has the sash, he's napping, he's got a bottle of sake. These are clearly Zoro characteristics. Moving up to the top, we see a cat sunbathing underneath an umbrella, which is a classic Nami pastime. But one big difference between the Zoro cat and the Nami cat is... No, not their fur color, but rather their whiskers. If you look, most of the cats in the picture appear to have whiskers. But the Nami cat doesn't. The cats that I confidently think are Sanji, Frankie, and Chopper also have whiskers. Meaning that Oda may have purposely removed the whiskers from the cats that are female. After all, women can't usually grow beards. So assuming that my hunch is right, let's check out the other cats and use the whiskers as a guide. Boy or girl. So we got a Zoro cat and a Nami cat. Up next, we see this cat on Neko's shoulder, with an eye for adventure. He has whiskers, which means he's a boy in this case, and I think this one might be Usopp, the eye of the Straw Hats. It's Usopp's duty as the sniper to spot enemies and to snipe them down. He's known for his observation, too. A sniper has to have a good eye, after all. That's a pretty weak argument, to be honest, but the other cats fit the picture too, so let's just roll with it. We aren't going to have perfect matchups like Zoro's every time. But this next one fits pretty well. We see a cat wearing a suit. Obviously, this is the Sanji cat. 
Now, I don't care if he has glasses. People, I saw people online saying, well, he has sunglasses like Robin. This cat's not Robin. He has a suit like Sanji, and he's a whiskers. This is a boy. He's Sanji. Up next, we see a cat peeking behind the border. This cat has whiskers, too. So what crew member hides, peeks corners, and is a boy? Well, that's right. This one's Chopper. Chopper always hides and peeks the corner. It's kind of cute to see a cat do this as well. So I think that this cat is for sure Ch Tony Tony Chopper. Now after that, we see that there's a cat licking its paw near the bottom left. And it does not have whiskers, which means I think that she's a girl. So let's call you Robin, cat, because she's a girl and she's playing with her paws. We know Robin's main attacks involve spawning her hands everywhere. So if you wanted to make her like a cat, I would say that you would make a cat sh that would show off its paws. So this one's going to be the Robin cat. So now up on Neko's face, we see a goggle wearing cat. With whiskers like that, I think he's a boy. And some people like to claim that this one's Usopp, but they forget that Cuddy Flam wore goggles. Frankie uses welding goggles as well. So check this pic. And now look at the cat. It's Frankie, okay? That one's Frankie. So up next, one of the trickier cats to identify, it's the cat at the bottom middle. It has whiskers, so if he's a boy, could he maybe be Brooke? He has a blacked out eye and it looks kind of like an eye socket. Um, yeah, as I said before, some of these cats don't have a prominent element like goggle, sake, or an umbrella. A blacked out eye with whiskers makes me think Brooke. And there's not much else we can do with him, so I'm going to go with Brooke here. Then up next we see a seated cat. He's chilling with a sake cup and a big jacket. He, with his whiskers, he's a boy, and the sake cup reminds me of Jimbe. He's known for his sake exchange with Big Mom. The traditional Japanese sake traditions are demonstrated by Jimbe and by this cat. So I think this cat is Jimbe. And that's what we have of the crew so far. But who are the remaining four cats? And where's Luffy? Does this mean that the crew is 13 total? Well, no, not really. The more and more I looked at this drawing, the more and more I became convinced that this picture of Neko smiling is Luffy. Now look at how all the kittens are drawn to their leader. That smile looks exactly like Luffy. And the lion being the figurehead of his ship and a symbol of the sun, it just kind of makes sense. Our MC is the biggest, most central figure on this page, with all of his 13 disciples. So who are the remaining four straw hats? These bottom two cats have little to no distinctive features. It was really hard to identify them. The only thing I felt confident saying about these two cats is that they're linked. They're staring right at each other. Are they related? Then I kind of thought back to the apprentice thing with Buggy and Shanks. To mirror that, I could see Momo and Tama both joining as apprentices. These two cats are staring at each other. They're different because one has whiskers, the boy, Momo, and the other does not, the girl, Tama. The quick case for Momonosuke is that he might not be ready to lead Wano yet. He's the man that will become the Shogun of Wano someday. He has already sailed with the crew for a long time, he's built that relationship with them. And as for Tama, she's driven many of the Straw Hats to go fight. Luffy, Zoro, Usopp, Nami. Plus she wore Luffy's hat. Plus she's waiting for Ace to fulfill his promise to take her to sea. Perhaps this cover art can be foreshadowing for Tama for Straw Hat. Okay, and now who is this cat that has no whiskers and she has her back turned to us? Who could she be? I'm ready to call this cat Vivi. Everyone knows that a popular headcanon of mine is that Vivi is going to rejoin the main crew. I would love for this girl to be Vivi. She has her back turned, which could be a representation that she's not actively on the crew at the moment. And the stripes even look like her striped uniform is Miss Wednesday. So I hope we get to see Vivi again pretty soon. And last but not least, who is this sleeping cat near Zoro? This one was tricky. He has whiskers, so he's a boy. So who might he represent? Very controversial, and not my true belief, but this cat might secretly represent Trafalgar Law. The fur pattern represents his hat, 
and Law has spent so much time with the crew during this alliance, he's built that relationship too. He even has dreams to reach the answers to the will of D, these answers that are at Laugh Tale. So in order to conclude his story arc, Law is going to need to go to Laugh Tale. He might as well do it with Luffy. Luffy's the man that's going to do it. So if Law is going to complete his story arc, he's going to need to be with Luffy. After Wano, is Law really going to go on his own with his weak ass crew? Or is he going to continue as a member of the Straw Hats? He said it himself, will you betray me? No. So this is a cool list. Based on this cover art, we can predict that Tama, Momonosuke, Vivi, and Law will be joining the final crew. But where's Yamato? Valid question. She's wildly popular. She would make a great addition to the crew as well. I'm just concerned. I'm just concerned about the power balance. Because she's stronger than Sanji, and she's arguably stronger than Zoro as well. She also has not had much interaction with the Straw Hats besides a Luffy, so maybe she's not a done deal like everyone thinks. She would be joining pretty late as well too, so who knows who's going to make this final cut. But according to this picture, I'm thinking Tama, Momo, Vivi, and Law. Anyway, I hope you liked my video. Again, I wanted to give a, a shout out to Desnus for the art in the video and my revamped logo. Check out his channel too. And let us know if you want to do more art collabs, because I can get more of Desnus work on my channel. And if you're interested in seeing another video about Vivi joining the Straw Hats, click on this video on the screen. But with that, have a good day, and remember, stay golden. Thanks for watching.